When choosing a WordPress hosting provider, there are a lot of things that you need to consider. Things such as security, speed, support, pricing, and the hosting type. Everyone's needs when it comes to hosting are going to be completely different. So today I'm gonna walk you through the steps that you wanna take when you're making a decision to picking the right host. I'm also gonna go through some of the options available and give you some recommendations for picking a host. Now there are a lot of factors to consider when it comes to choosing WordPress hosting. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to think about is speed and performance. This is crucial, and honestly, the short way to put this is a faster website is going to make your customers and Google happy. Most of Google's core web vitals are based on your site's performance. So this means that choosing a hosting provider that focuses on speed is essential. You'll wanna look for a host that offers features such as object caching, a free CDN, support for the latest versions of MySQL and PHP, and any other speed boosting features that will help your site rank higher. Now, speed and performance aren't the only things you wanna look for. Another very important thing when it comes to your host is the security features that they offer. Having good security measures in place is super important for your website, and this is how you protect yourself from things such as hackers. When you're researching hosting partners, ensure that they offer things like free SSL certificates, web application firewalls, known as WAF, malware scanning, DDoS protection, and the ability to back up and restore your site should something go wrong. Now, after security is taken care of, another thing that you wanna think about when you're choosing your web host is scalability. When you're looking at hosting providers, one thing to keep in mind is the big picture for your site. Not necessarily where you are right now, but where you wanna be in the future as well. While your business is new, it may be tempting to just pick the cheapest hosting provider you can, but think about where your business is going to go in the future. As your business grows, so will your needs, so making sure that your host is scalable is very important. Now, another thing you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind is its ease of use. Whether you're new to WordPress or a seasoned professional, having a dashboard that's easy to navigate is essential for having a host that makes you happy. Most WordPress hosts offer cPanel or something similar to navigate the server settings. For example, SiteGround uses a proprietary site tools dashboard that allows you to access the file manager, manage FTP accounts, access MySQL and PHP MyAdmin, and so much more. Regardless of which host you choose, make sure you do a little research to see how you're gonna be navigating that environment so that it's something that you can use easily. Now, something else to keep in mind is the customer support that you can expect from the host that you choose. Server-related issues can be one of the most frustrating problems that you can come across as a site owner. This means you'll definitely wanna take into account the customer support level that each hosting provider can give you just in case something does go wrong. Something to really look for when you're choosing a provider is that they offer round the clock support. Site issues don't always happen Monday through Friday, nine to five, so making sure you can get support around the clock is very important. Also, another thing that you wanna look for is if the provider has multiple ways to get support. This could be through phone, email, chat, or some combination of all three. Knowing that you have good customer support with the host will really give you peace of mind, and that's something that you really wanna look into. And then finally, pricing. When you're researching your hosting providers, something that you'll always wanna keep in mind is the value that you get for the money that you're spending. Ultimately, you wanna find a hosting provider that balances features and value for your budget. This way, you can ensure you're getting the most bang for your buck and you're making a wise investment for the future of your WordPress website. So now that you know what you wanna look into in choosing a host, the other thing that you'll wanna pay attention to is what type of hosting services there are out there. Now, the first type of hosting that you're gonna run into, and usually one of the most affordable, is shared WordPress hosting. This type of hosting provides one shared server, which is divided into multiple different sections, and then it distributes it out to multiple different clients. In addition to sharing server space, those with shared hosting also divide up server resources, things such as RAM, bandwidth, and disk space, which can result in less than stellar performance sometimes. One benefit though of shared hosting is the ability to take a more hands-off approach. As a shared hosting customer, you won't have to worry about maintaining the server security or updates. But the downside is that share hosting is slower, making it suited for those who have small informational websites or blogs. Now, another type of hosting is called managed WordPress hosting. And this one's really great for those who wanna take a hands-off approach to their WordPress hosting needs. While all hosting types can be managed or unmanaged, managed hosts take care of a lot of the heavy lifting. This includes things like server patching, maintenance, and updates. They also implement specialized server settings, to enhance your WordPress site's speed and performance. Managed hosting is great for site owners who want the best for their sites, but lack the time or expertise to maintain them personally. However, there is a trade-off with managed hosting, and that's that freedom to choose plugins may be limited, 
as managed providers have a list of disallowed plugins. That said, these restrictions are usually in place because the host offers settings to control, caching, image compression, and other performance enhancing features. Now the next type of hosting is dedicated WordPress hosting. And this is gonna be usually for larger agencies and businesses who want a server that they're going to maintain themselves. Dedicated hosting allows you to lease an entire server for yourself with dedicated resources exclusively used just for your site. The main benefit of this, of course, is not having to share your server's resources with other clients. You'll generally get the highest performing server with excellent security features, but you'll be responsible for troubleshooting any errors that arise. I also wanna note that dedicated hosting is much more expensive than other types, such as shared, VPS, or managed. Then we have VPS hosting, and this is similar to shared WordPress hosting, but there are a few differences. With VPS, you share physical hardware with other users, but you have your own resources, such as RAM, storage, and bandwidth. This gives you a server environment that functions much more like a dedicated server, and because of this, you benefit from a private server without the added cost of dedicated hosting. Another type of hosting that you're going to run into as well is cloud hosting. With cloud hosting, multiple servers are used to distribute resources, resulting in a much faster delivery of data to your site's visitors. Because of this unique setup, websites hosted in the cloud have access to almost unlimited resources, offering faster speeds, a platform that's easily scalable, and superior reliability than other hosting types. Cloud hosting providers can often provide excellent uptime thanks to automatic failover protection, which allows your site's files to quickly be swapped to a different server in case of a hardware failure. And the last type of hosting that we wanna talk about is reseller WordPress hosting. This is similar to dedicated hosting, where essentially you lease an entire server or part of a server, and then you rent it out in pieces to your clients. You can usually white label WordPress, so it appears as a customized hosting plan offered by your company, rather than the company you purchase from. Additionally, it's not uncommon for a managed hosting provider to offer reseller hosting, reducing the time you'll need to spend maintaining client websites. So now that you have an idea of how hosting works and what you wanna look for when you're choosing a web host, I've got a couple of my favorites. I recently did a more in-depth video covering 10 of the best hosting providers out there. If you wanna check it out, there's gonna be a link floating at the top of the video where you can click, but I got a few quick picks for you. First off is SiteGround, and this is our pick for the best managed WordPress hosting. SiteGround is widely known as being the best managed WordPress hosting provider that you can get. With all their features, it's easy to see why. You'll get a huge speed bump thanks to its cloud-based infrastructure, free website migrations, an SSL certificate, CDN, email, WPCLI, SSH, and FTP access, excellent caching capabilities through SG Optimizer, and so much more. SiteGround is an excellent choice for those looking for a stellar managed WordPress host. Customer support is amazing, the site tools dashboard is feature rich, and the Google Cloud backbone provides lightning fast speeds. Also, if you wanna check it out for yourself, they offer pricing starting at just $14.95 a month. If you're looking for excellent shared WordPress hosting, you might wanna check out Bluehost. Bluehost provides so much bang for your buck. Even their most basic plans come standard with freebies like a domain for one year, an SSL, CDN, and at least 10 gigabytes of solid state drive storage. One of the best things about Bluehost is their dashboard. All their tools are clearly marked so they're very easy to find. Additionally, there are a few attractive features for new business owners, such as free email accounts, marketing tools, and plenty of add-ons to upgrade your plan should the need arise. They're also very affordable as well, with pricing starting at $35.40 for one year of hosting. And if you're looking for excellent VPS hosting, you might wanna check out Hostinger. With every VPS plan from Hostinger, you'll get access to features like weekly backups, a strong 100 megabits per second network, IPv4 and IPv6 support, and a dedicated IP address. They also offer an AI-powered firewall that constantly scans network traffic to instantly identify and block any shenanigans. Additionally, a nice snapshot feature can be used to restore your site to a specific point should disaster strike. Hostinger is an excellent choice when it comes to VPS hosting, and their pricing is fantastic, starting at just $8.99 a month. Now again, those are just a few picks that we have for you. I did do that video on the top 10 best hosts where I go a lot more in depth on each of them, so if you wanna check that out, it's got a lot of different features that every host provides. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully I was able to help demystify WordPress hosting. Before you go though, make sure you check out some of our other content, and I'll see you in the next one.